Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use XSplit Broadcaster Scene presets like this, or maybe like this. What do you guys think? If you wanna learn, stay tuned. All right, this is super exciting to show you all this. I just learned about scene presets here with XSplit Broadcaster uh, not too long ago here, like maybe a couple of weeks ago. And when I saw XSplit post a Facebook video showing you how to do this, I was like, no, wait a minute. I've been wanting this feature in XSplit Broadcaster for a long time. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to implement it to your own recordings and live streams today. It's really amazing. So scene presets are pretty much, um, think about like changing from one scene to the next, like having your webcam on one scene and then having a new scene with your webcam smaller, maybe your game capture such as this. And that would be an entirely different scene normally when we're using XSplit Broadcaster. But we can do that all in one scene, which makes XSplit Broadcaster so much more powerful and awesome and fun to use too. There's unlimited possibilities here now with this. So scene presets are again, presets within your scene that you can set up. Uh, we have three right now and I'll show you how they work. Okay, so we have three scene presets right here. This is the option right here where you'll find your presets that you can make. Of course, when you start to only be one preset, I have three right now. So this is the main scene preset for preset one. If I click two, that went to our game capture and moved our logo as well. It also shrunk down our webcam, which is pretty cool. And then scene preset three was the full screen webcam. Again, all in one scene. Normally, we'd have to change scenes here to go to different screens like that. For instance, this scene here. You've seen this before. This is my webcam here. Normally I have a screen capture set up over here for tutorial videos and that kind of thing. But yeah, so to do this, we can do it all in one scene. So we can have these scenes also with scene presets if we wanted to. Uh, so really, I'm going to be setting up all of my layouts with the scene presets probably eventually as I do this uh, and having all of these extra little um, powerful presets to use when I need to. So it's really unlimited potential here in Xplit Broadcaster. So let's show you how we did this. I'm going to actually go and remove these scene presets and we'll make them from scratch. So go to three and I'll click the little arrow here to remove preset three. Make sure two is highlighted, remove preset two. So we're back to scene preset one. So all we're gonna do is do this. We're gonna click on this little arrow and click on add preset. Now we're on number two. So this is our workspace for the scene preset. Make sure the preset you wanna use is highlighted here in black. So I click it to make sure we're there. So we're on scene two. Now I want my webcam to be smaller. So I have to actually select the sources on the scene and make them different sizes. So I can do this. I'm gonna hover over the overlay first, move the overlay up here and simply drag that into the upper left. Now we can put it wherever you want. So whatever you wanna do, you can put it on the top right, lower left, lower right, wherever you wanna put it, it's fine. Uh, webcam source, get a webcam underneath the border layer here. Shrink this up as well creating this preset for you. All right, we need to actually select a webcam layer here again, just to make sure we're not peeking through. There we go. Shrink it up a little bit. We'll do this kind of rough, but you can get the idea. Are we gonna move our text up too? So I have these different layers and different um, sources here. So, oops, I wanna actually click on text. It's important we do that. There we go, highlight our text and bring this up here. That was there. So now you can do this with whatever you want on your scene. Again, game captures, you can do it with uh, screen captures for tutorials. Um, you can input media files, web pages, any source, 
that you input, you can do. Looks pretty good. All right, so that changes that. Let's move this logo then over here. Oops, make sure we select our logo again. There it is. Okay, always make sure you have to highlight it first, and then you can move it over. Put that there. You know, we're actually gonna shrink it down to a little bit, like that. That's cool. And now we have our game capture too. So our game capture source is already here. Again, you can input by adding sources, anything you want. So game captures here, make sure it's visible. There it is. I'm gonna right click here and change the layout of this too. I'm going to reset our earlier settings. Wake that up a little bit. Okay, let's resize this a little bit too by dragging a little bit, moving it down. It's pretty good. Let's actually put this logo in here. Looks kind of cool. Now, if we wanted to, we could put chat down here, really whatever you want to do for your scene and setup. Uh, it's really up to whatever you need. So that's pretty cool. This could be scene uh, preset number two. So let's see how it works. Now, again, you can also put different colors, animations and transitions behind every additional source you're moving around or changing. And I'll show you that in a second, too. Let's go to scene preset one. Click this. And that's how we normally are, of course. When we first start the video, click on Scene Preset 2, and there we go. The webcam goes to the upper left, game capture comes out, and the logo moves and shrinks down to that setup spot. That's really awesome. Just that there, it's very smooth, the animations and transitions, it's really cool, right? Now you can add a transition between the scene presets. Click on the arrow here, and click on Transition. So this is just a basic easing transition. There's no special effects like um, zooming or waiting for this particular part. But you can set the speeds if you want to. You can uh, easing in, right now it's none. You can do in or out, or in and out. You can also set the speed. The lower the milliseconds, the faster the transition. Uh, the higher the number, the slower the transition. Let's put 300 here, make it faster. And let's try easing in click OK and see what this looks like. So that was a lot faster as you can tell there. Yeah, much faster. Okay, let's go back to the arrow here. Click on transition. Let's go back to 500. Seems like a pretty good default speed. Let's click out. Okay. That's much better, right? Cool. Now I actually have the game capture itself also in the transition. That is moving from the right, so pretty much off screen, moving from the right onto the screen. And I'll show you that. Let's go back here. Let's go back to transition again. And let's do uh, in and out. Let's do a thousand, so that'd be much slower. And here we go. That's really smooth and good too. So again, whatever you want to do with this, it's really up to you. If you want it quick and snappy, that's cool. You can do that or slower and smooth. Looks just as good. I like that a lot. All right, let's go to the transition here again. Put it back to 500 for default. All right, easing in none. So again, this says here, this will animate properties such as rotation, scaling, cropping, and more. So if you have things that are cropped or scaled or rotated uh, between the scene presets, this controls all of that. All of those transitions are the same, making it equal across the entire board, okay? Go to scene two really quickly. I wanna show you here. So again, you can make any source as well change if you want to. This capture, click on this, right click, and go to effects. As you can see, I have transition set up just for this particular capture, for the game capture. Right now it is moving right. See the preview here, it moves right on the screen. It's at 300, so we can put that at 500 if we wanted to. And again, this happens when we do this and change over. And that slides, isn't that cool? All right. So we can also do something with our webcam if we wanted to. It's really up to you. Again, use your imagination here. Uh, use these presets, explore, uh, try some new layouts. But uh, we'll click our webcam and right click properties, cam. Let's go to color here. Uh, let's see. 
Maybe I'm going to go more of a different color, like this, for this preset. It's kind of like a pinkish red. It's really crazy on me. <laughs> I'm kind of black and white, and there's like a, even more red behind me because of my light that I have there. So it's kind of pink now. It's kind of cool. So we'll keep it at that. Let's have our cam. Uh, let's see. Go to... I'm going to have it flip like this, just to be freaky. <laughs> okay. Just to show you what's possible here through a little few seconds and a few minutes worth of uh, tweaking here. Go back to preset one. See how that flips and the color goes back to preset one. Preset two is that. That's really cool, right? <laughs> now, why would you want that cam upside down? I don't know. It really depends what you're doing. We'll click this Brio cam again, the, the source here. And click on, let me see here, click on cam effects layout. There we go, flip that back, get rid of the color, reset, okay. Let's add a third preset. You can remove presets. If you remove a preset, it will rename it automatically into the, per the proper order, basically. So if you remove three, or if you remove two, three will become two in the presets okay it's pretty self-explanatory but you'll see if you remove two so if we remove two you see three becomes two okay so we have just these two presets now all right let's add one other new preset we'll get rid of the can right what we'll actually we'll get rid of the uh, the capture card here so we'll click off the capture card here so we can't see that this preset the logo here we'll have that get bigger like this that's cool let's say we want to bring in let's see here let's bring in our image slideshow so we're gonna add some images here just a little plug in here we'll add a couple images do this select these okay cool keep it on loop that's neat okay and there that's not too bad we could add a border to this if we wanted to but for now just for examples showing you guys today what's possible we'll use the little image gallery here too so here we go back to preset one all right so we don't want this on preset one and slideshow will not be here that off okay now we should be good to go so preset two game capture logo moves that's good and then three boom there is our looping image gallery below this could be you know a b ray back scene or something like that uh, you could have actually an entire background wallpaper change if you wanted to as well it's really limited to your imagination. So try seeing presets out here for yourself. Now you can control these presets here with your mouse and just clicking on the little box here to go between all of your presets if you want to. Uh, that's not too bad. Or you can also set up hotkeys as well. And I'll show you how to do that. Go into tools, go to settings, click on hotkeys. Look for scene presets right here in the middle. And we have three presets right now, so it shows three. However many you have will show up here as well. We can highlight one, double click. And I'm gonna keep this at number pad one, but just enter in your hotkey, whatever you want, to update that. Second one is in number two, keep it at two. And now we'll change this for preset three, double click, and click on three. Again, whatever hotkey you wanna use, click on apply and okay that way you can control those with your hotkeys really easily and now we're set so if we click on number two on the keypad goes to preset number two on our scene and click on three there we go very easy to do so uh, i would suggest using the hotkeys it's easier than using your mouse because with your mouse you actually have to be hovering over the proper area of scene presets to change so Hotkeys are always there. Uh, set them to something you remember. That way you know what they're gonna be when you're pressing them, of course. So there we go, three, two, one, or one and three. One, or three and two. Two and three, three and one. Pretty awesome stuff. Now they're also adding support soon for Elgato Stream Decks. Uh, you can 
use it right now kind of by using the system option for hotkeys but it doesn't quite work right but they'll be adding specific functionality for the stream deck and scene presets on xlip broadcaster so there you go pretty cool way to use this again with hotkeys and soon elgato stream deck Again, this functionality adds so much more power to XSplit Broadcaster. So whether you're recording like I am now or during your live streams, you can use it for both. So give it a try. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. And be sure to hit that like button for us, subscribe, and we'll see you guys back here next time. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. Thanks for watching. Take care.